This is our buffalo chicken shepherd's pie. This is a 30 minute meal that everybody loves. It's made with a rotisserie chicken. You can't get easier than picking up a rotisserie chicken. Um, and we're going to strip off all of the skin, of course, and remove the meat from the bones. And then I like to just shred it. Just make a big old pile of it and pull it into pretty pieces. We're going to then buffalo magize that chicken. So we start with celery and carrots. I add an onion as well and lots of garlic and fresh thyme. And I cook that down in butter, okay? And I use four large cloves of garlic because I like really garlicky wings. To this base, I'm gonna add sun-dried tomato paste, which is super tangy and really sweet. Oh, a good three or four tablespoons. And then we're going to add the star ingredient for any buffalo sauce, the hot sauce. This is cayenne pepper sauce. I like Frank's Red Hot for my buffalo sauce. And you use about a quarter cup and you can go up from there. And then to that, I add a little bit of bone broth, chicken bone broth or chicken stock. And to that, we're gonna throw in all of our shredded chicken right down into that hot tub. Yeah. And then you just let this simmer together and adjust your hot sauce. So while this is simmering and heating through, I'm gonna put, pop a lid on it just so it can heat through because that chicken's cold. I'm gonna show you guys what I cooked up in this pot. I cut up a couple of parsnips, that's like a carrot with an attitude, slightly spicy parsnips. And I cubed up in slightly larger chunks, or you can start the parsnips first and then add the potatoes. I just do slightly larger chunks of the potato, put them in cold water, bring it up to a rapid boil, then salt the water liberally. Potatoes love salt. And I add several large cloves of crushed garlic. So this, in the food mill, is garlic, parsnip and potato all cooked together. This is gonna be for the topping for our buffalo shepherd's pie. You mill that, then I added salt and pepper. To that I'm gonna add sour cream. And what do you eat with wings? Blue cheese, right. So we're going to put smoked blue cheese into my potatoes and parsnips with the sour cream and it'll taste like blue cheese dressing. And in my blue cheese dressing, I use the same herbs that I would use in ranch dressing. So to our potato topping, I'm also going to add dill, chives, and parsley. I'm trying to work even blue cheese distribution <laughs> without getting the potatoes too wet. Okay, I think we're good. All right, now we're going to take our buffalo skillet chicken kind of shake it so it's in an even level. And then we're gonna put our blue cheese potatoes with parsnips on top of that. I know, we're not there yet though. <laughs> so these are nice and thick. You gotta be a little bit patient to get them scoot scooted around. And now we're gonna finish it off with sharp cheddar. And when it comes out of the oven, it's got that nice brown top of our melted bubbling cheddar. And then I just garnish it with a little sprinkle of smoked sweet paprika. Lovely. Some pickled jalapenos, mild or hot. Yum. And a little bit of green onion. Isn't that pretty? Yum.